Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with a question and it's this. Has someone ever done something to you that hurt you so badly that you felt like, I can't forgive them? You know, in Luke chapter 17, Jesus was talking to his disciples about forgiveness. And he told them that if a man does you wrong seven times a day, forgive him every time. And the disciples responded by saying, Lord, increase our faith. And you could tell that when he talked about forgiveness and forgiving that many times, they began to feel inadequate. You know, sometimes when we talk about forgiveness, those same feelings can come on us. You know, friend, I don't know what people have done to you. I don't know who's hurt you. I don't know what's going on in your life. But if you can't forgive that person, then the hurt that they created in you will continue to rule over you. And so I believe the Lord's going to give you some things today on the broadcast that are going to help you to learn how to forgive. And in fact, I'm going to give you five things. I believe that if you'll do them and put them into practice, that you'll be able to forgive that person who you thought you never could forgive. The first one is this. You have to believe that you can forgive. Again, a lot of times people believe, well, I can't forgive them or I never could forgive them. Friend, if the Lord told you to forgive somebody, then he's given you the ability to forgive them and therefore you can forgive them. And that's step one. You have to believe I can forgive them. The Lord told me to forgive them and therefore I have the ability to forgive them. So I believe that I can forgive them. Number two is this. You're going to forgive by God's grace and by his ability. Romans chapter 5 verse 5 says that the love of God has been shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit. And therefore you have God's ability to love and to forgive on the inside of you. So you're not going to forgive in your own ability or your own strength, but you're going to forgive with the ability and with the strength and with the grace that God has given you to forgive that person. So number two, you're going to forgive by God's grace and by his ability. Number three, you have to decide to forgive. You're going to have to make a decision that I, I decide, I choose to forgive that person. You see, friend, forgiveness is a choice. And you can forgive whomever you choose to forgive for whatever they have done. I'm going to say that to you again. Forgiveness is a choice. And you can choose to forgive whomever you choose to forgive for whatever they have done. So you got to make a choice. Number three, I'm going to forgive them. I choose to forgive that person. And you got to make that decision based solely on the word of God. And you're going to have to ignore your feelings and push them aside. At the end of the day, friend, you're either going to obey the master or you're not. And he commanded you to forgive. So you're going to have to make the decision that you're going to obey the master and you're going to forgive. Number four, Jesus said this in Matthew 18, verse 35. He said, if you forgive from your hearts. So forgiveness is from the heart. And then in Matthew 12, 34 and 35, he said out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if forgiveness is from the heart, then it's going to be done with the mouth. So to forgive, you're going to have to open up your mouth and you're going to have to declare these words that in faith, I forgive that person. You're going to have to use your words. You're going to have to use your heart. You're going to have to use your faith. And that's how you give forgiveness. You do it by believing and by speaking words. I choose to forgive that person. I do forgive that person. And the moment you release those words, forgiveness has been given. Now, number five is this. You're going to have to resist the feelings of unforgiveness. After you do that, after you decide and, and say with your words and believe with your heart that you have forgiven that person, you might see them the next day or the next week. And when you do, you might have feelings like you didn't forgive them. Friend, those are just feelings of unforgiveness. You need to resist those feelings with your faith. 
and just in your heart and in your own mind, you need to say, no, I've forgiven that person. I've released them. Maybe you go up to them and you give them a hug or you bless them in some way, but don't let those feelings try to tell you that you haven't forgiven them because if you did it from your heart and you did it with your words and you did it in faith, then you have forgiven them and you just need to resist those feelings of unforgiveness. And if you do that long enough, pretty soon those feelings of unforgiveness will leave you. Friend, I wanna remind you of those five things as we're closing today that I believe will help you to forgive any person that you need to give. Number one, you have to believe you can forgive. Number two, you forgive by God's grace and ability. Number three, you decide to forgive. Number four, you believe and you speak forgiveness. And then number five, you resist the feelings of unforgiveness. Let's pray. Father, I thank you today, Lord, for everybody watching the broadcast. And Lord, anybody that's struggling to forgive any person, Father, I thank you for helping them today to forgive that person and to let go of that so that they can be free of it once and for all. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Wednesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.